It is now my great pleasure to introduce Representative Robin Bartleman. Representative Bartleman was elected last November to represent part of Broward County in South Florida. She lives in Weston, where she works as an assistant principal and special education teacher. She previously served as a member of the Broward County School Board and as a Weston City Commissioner. She's a former chair of the Children's Services Council of Broward County and also chaired the Children's Services Council Special Needs Advisory Coalition. Welcome, Representative Bartleman. Welcome to 2021 Virtual Disabilities Day. I'm sorry I can't be with all of you in person. Uh, this is what happens with pan the pandemic. We're all on Zoom, but I wanted to make sure that I made an appearance so that uh, to introduce myself and let you know what I stand for and uh, reassure you that I will be advocating for your needs. My name is Robin Bartleman. I am the state representative for District 104. I represent Weston, Southwest Ranches, Davie, and Pembroke Pines. Uh, Broward County residents may be familiar with me. I was your school board member for 16 years countywide. I was on the Children's Services Council for over a decade, and I was chair of the Special Needs Advisory Coalition in Broward County for over a decade. So uh, these issues are very important to me. Uh, you should also know that I started my career as a special education teacher, teaching students with severe emotional disabilities in Miami-Dade County, that was the label back then, and we autism was not even a category when uh, I started teaching. So uh, a lot has changed. I also went on to become an assistant principal in Miami-Dade County in an ESC center. Um, there are a couple bills that I've sponsored that will impact you and your, in your families. Number one is House Bill 899, which is the Managed Care Plan Performance. Uh, the pandemic uh, has brought to light the disparities that exist in healthcare. And so what I am requiring ACA to do in this bill is to actually collect data and disaggregate that data by race, by ethnicity, by primary language, by age, and most importantly, by disability. We can all talk about healthcare dis uh, disparities, but unless you have the data, you can't make informed decisions. And those decisions are really important and we need to address those issues. I'm also co-sponsoring bills by my good friend, Alice Tant, who's a representative here in Tallahassee, who does have a child with a disability. Uh, House Bill 173 uh, addresses uh, transition meetings. Uh, it backs them up to seventh grade, where you start meeting on transition for your child. And also House Bill 7 171, which I was proud to support in committee this week. Uh, it requires a resource guide be given to parents so that they can make informed decisions for their children. I am always here for you. The best way you can advocate is to contact your state representatives, plan individual meetings, email us, reach out to their aides, um, and you need to reach out to your individual representatives. Share your stories, share why you need help, share why legislation is important to you, and uh, I'm hoping for a very productive legislative se session that will positively impact Floridians. Thank you. Thank you.